Hey, nerdlings! Yo, nerdlings! Do you nerd for popping pills to scare away the ghosts in the maze? I got Pac-Man fever. Oh! I'm gonna eat them all up just as soon as I come We totally have Pac-Man fever. We do. Fever. It was the unofficial theme of our wedding. It's too true. <laughs> If you guys ever looked around in the game room, oh my gosh. Pac-Man fever, baby. This is another loot box put out by Numskull, and this is one that we picked up at Target. Something we should note on this box is the sleeve just kind of rests there, but it is not taped. There was no cellophane or anything to wrap it. So that means if you do find one of these and you go to buy it, beware, maybe check this, make sure all of the stuff is in there. That is a substantial lid for it a box. It is a pretty That's good a, lid. A lot but again, we like the box. We like the, you know, the Pac-Man uh, screen basically on the box. All right, first things first, we got some buttons. Pac-Man and the ghosts lend themselves perfectly to buttons. And whenever you get a set like this where you kind of have that full set, you cannot go wrong. And the nice thing is, keep in mind with buttons, you know, you don't have to put them on your backpack, mm -hmm. your bag, your, you know, your shirt, your coat or anything. I mean, you can get a nice piece of fabric, yeah. put them on to display it. If you've got a shelf that you're not too upset about putting a hole in, you can kind of put them on the, the flat shelf part of it. True. We, we do that on our game shelf back there. So So I really like that. I like having Pac-Man and all the ghosts. That's great. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Those are buttons I like. All right. This one comes with a bottle opener. Oh, and that is a big one. Uh, it's heavy. I it's think, got magnets. I think Numbskull is big on making yes. these big ones and you've said before that they look like belt buckles they really do i think they missed the mark with this one i don't know if this is like their trademark to put it back here but i mean he's got his mouth open <laughs> why wouldn't you have his mouth open so his mouth opens your things he's just biting your pop top and ripping it open yeah but it's it's yeah. hefty one hefty 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 that's what I'm talking about. That would look very cool on the fridge, even if you don't use it. I've always That's liked cool, the 80s Pac-Man where he's got his arms and legs. <laughs> his old boots. Yep. Pac-Man. Got a nice mug in there. Nice, nice. And uh, he's kind of popping off the front. Got a nice embossed, uh, like, is that metal or do you think that's I, ceramic? Actually, yeah, I think that is metal. I think that's another thing that Numskull likes to do. They like to do those uh, metal badge mugs. So, you know, yeah, he, he jumps off that mug at you. And speaking of that nice 80s Pac-Man design uh -huh. with his gloves and boots. You got the 80s ghost. Yeah, the classic design of the ghosts. And I love that because you don't always see them like this. You no. don't see this design that much anymore. <laughs> On the bottom of the mug, it says, for best results, turn the mug the other way around. I asked Barry, I said, it's a good morning for a cup of coffee. Let's share yeah. together. He oh, doesn't geez. drink coffee. I it the wrong way. Oops. Oh, whoops. It's good advice. Hey, what time is it? Oh, no. You know, on the lighter side, though, Dave, mm -hmm. I really appreciate Dave gave me a mug like this. <gasps> <laughs> now, the reason that I decided I wanted this box is the coasters. Wow, those are very nice. And you get five you instead of a, five. like a typical four yeah. coaster pack. And they're they're cut out shapes. They could have just gone with, you know, like round or square. I yeah. love that they're cut out, including Pac-Man. <laughs> He's all cut out there, which is pretty great. All too often, 
coasters are cardboard when you get fun coasters yeah. so i don't feel like we get to have as many fun coasters and so with these being a rubber i was like yep we're getting this box because they're so much fun and they're full colored all the way around as you can see so it's not like the paint's gonna rub off or mm -hmm. anything and their eyes are inlaid in there and they've got that good stick to them on the table and they just sound good too and speaking of the eyes, with that line there, I feel like you could kind of collect some of the, uh, the excess runoff from your glass. Mm -hmm. That, that condensation. condensation. It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there, and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. <laughs> uh, you all right? You touch me. I what? Goodbye. Give goodbye. <laughs> This was a pretty good box. It is one of those that is packed with that insert on the inside. Mm -hmm. So your mug, your coasters, everything has a place. It's not sliding all around or anything, which is probably a good thing with this mug and this guy right here. Oh, yeah. So it's not shattering it. These are really solid items. I mean, the pins are great. The the bottle opener, even if you don't use it, I mean, it's, it's a nice display piece. The coasters and mug, perfect display, mm -hmm. functional pieces best of both worlds right there no oh, oh, sorry yeah. thank there you go. gonna get ringed on the table now these boxes usually run about thirty dollars um so you know some people think oh that wasn't worth it some people do think it's worth it you know i think it was a good box i liked it personally i'm a little bit of a cheapskate uh thirty dollars is really kind of pushing it i am going to give them the credit of the quality of the coasters if these were cardboard coasters, I would say absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, $30, I feel, again, it's still pushing it, but it kind of depends on how much of a fan of Pac-Man, in this case, that you are. I think that's the nice thing about this one, is there's a good majority of functioning items. You've got a bottle opener, which is very functional. Cup and coasters. You know, buttons, buttons can or cannot be perceived as functional. But this one had a fairly decent amount of everyday using items. All right, nerdlings. I would love to hear your comments down below. What did you think of this box? Any of the items in here? Maybe you had a favorite? Definitely let us know. Pac-Man's gone. He got eaten by ghosts. <laughs> and <laughs> be sure to give the video a like if you happen to like it. And let us know if you've picked this box up or if you maybe saw it and were wondering about it. Maybe you have some different thoughts now that you saw what's inside. Or if you've seen a box out there you think we might enjoy looking at. Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, nerdlings. If we like it, we nerd it. For ghosts and Paku Paku. I know everywhere I look, I'm like, oh look, there's Pac-Man glasses. Hold for yawn. <laughs> Gosh, Tom, stop dragging this on. All right, nerdlings. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Be sure to. Sorry. Now you threw me off. Sorry. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Four little spears, little Puckmans. Little spears? Spheres. Oh, spheres. <laughs>